Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, they had a magnitude 4.3 earthquake, Cerros Valley, California. 164 people reported feeling this earthquake and it was shallow. 0 0.9 kilometers in depth or that would be about 2,000 miles below sea level and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Moment tensor ball. Pressure was applied coming straight up. The fault line, the fault line did dip a little bit, uh, going probably southeast. Tension was applied. Guess where? Going west. Not surprised. So using Google Earth, this is the location of that earthquake, and we'll pull it out. I've talked about this area a lot. You know, the whole uh, North American plate is moving kind of a southwesterly direction. And I really expect a, um, an earthquake, a large earthquake, to happen over here in the uh, Las Vegas area. We have over here the Coso Volcanic Field, where they're drawing energy, making energy from the hot water that comes up. And they're also pumping water into the ground because the field had uh, probably dried up. But here's the location, zooming out a little bit farther. And you notice this, this fault line. I've talked about the Garlock fault line. It only started moving after the series of earthquakes that occurred, what, last year? And it goes down here into this bend where the San Andreas Fault, um, yeah, it's locked. Um, and I talked about the uplift. I don't know if I have it on here. Let me see. I may have to turn it on. This is the area of the red lines drawn out. The area of uplift that occurred after that large earthquake earthquake in Ridgecrest, the 7.1. Uh, let me zoom in here to that one. Which occurred on July 3rd of last year. And it comes all the way down the uplift. And it affected this uh, gridlock fault, fault zone. See that, how the red line there, if you went in a circle. So let's go to this area of today's um, earthquake, the 4.3. You can see it's within the area of the uplift. There we go. Let me bring this out. See that? So if you drew a circle, yeah, there's the 4.1 for today. Despite them not talking about it, this is a volcanic field. That's why they're um, getting hydrothermal um, steam from this area. This is why we're getting the large earthquakes. And I have talked about numerous times that as our Earth magnetic field weakens, we're going to see an increase in earthquakes, yep, in diverse places. And we will also see an increase in volcanic eruptions. Yeah, so in the future, when the magnetic field decides to finally pop, and it's not just going to happen and settle down in one day. The last time the magnetic field reversed, um, different scientists argue about how long it bounced around to different locations, kind of like a divot or divots on a uh, golf ball, um, anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 years. And they know that from cores that they've drawn from um, lava fields. I think about the lava fields in um, Hawaii. So they, they know that from um, the direction that the iron was pointing. You know, which direction the magnetic field was going. And it reversed sometimes quite often during that 2,000 to 10,000 years. And they know that, you know, volcanic fields that were once dormant had started erupting during that period also. So in the last week, there has been 343 earthquakes in this location. Yeah, and the, the largest being this uh, magnitude, uh, oh, that's not it. I have to zoom in to get it, I guess, that 4.3. So um, <laughs> what's your thoughts about that? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. And as I said in my last video, history has a way of repeating itself. That's why we're supposed to learn from history.
please stay safe and i will talk to you later god bless you bye